So if you didn't know, this weekend was Summer in the City, which is basically the largest YouTube event that happens in the UK every single year. And I've been about seven times. The difference is this year was the first time I did a craft table or sold merchandise of any kind. Before I talk about the final event, it's important to address everything that happened in the run-up to Summer in the City. For starters, I didn't have that much notice about confirmation that I had a table, and I was away in America right up until about two weeks before Summer in the City. So those two weeks, I had to cram in as much effort and painting and organization as I possibly could. And of course I did it, but it was a very stressful two weeks. I also had to teach myself to do things that I hadn't done before, some of which may sound so stupid, but but when it comes to actually doing it yourself as opposed to doing it with other people or having someone guiding you, it's very different. Things like I had to go to the bank and take a float of 500 pounds in cash. Never done that before. That was scary. <laughs> Handling 500 pounds in coins was quite exciting. Other things like I had to go and get prints done, which is something I've wanted to do for a long time, but uh, I thought I would have more time to work it all out. So I had a very short window to get things right. And we got there in the end, which is awesome. We were actually printing until half past six the day before summer in the city. So we cut it quite fine. Um, so I'm very grateful to the printer place. Setting up my store was actually quite fun. I had a six foot table where I had to present everything in a nice way and we tried our best. I say we because my mum was helping by this point. I should say that my mum and my sister did help out on my table and hundreds of you met my mum. She's very loud. You can tell where I get the vlogging from. <laughs> Lots of people didn't actually realise that she was my mother. So yes, this lady here is my mum. Um, my table is over there. There's my mum. We're going to see if she's okay. Um, I wasn't selling in isolation. There were tables all around me. And this is a clip of me walking around and just showing you some of the other stores that were there. There was a variety of stuff. One of my favourite stalls was Art Equals Happy, run by Kim Smith, and I will link to her in the video description. She is an absolute star, and I love her. Um, this photo sort of summarises how lovely she is. She's lovely. I feel like I'm almost doing one of those constructive evaluations at the end of an art project. Um, I feel like my presentation could have been a bit better, and that was one thing I missed out. I forgot to do price labels. I brought labels with me, but I just ran out of time. I forgot to do them. So I think my labels let me down a bit in terms of presentation. They did the job and no one asked what the prices of things were because it was all out. But still, from a personal perspective, I felt I could have done better. Um, I'm very critical, I think. The store did look very homemade and a lot of people said that was nice. I didn't feel too businessy and I really liked that. Um, but yeah, I just used my duvet cover as the tablecloth. It really did shock my mum and I what sold. Things like the badges. I thought certain badges would go, and in fact, the one badge that I did is like a test, uh, the night sky little badge there, that sold like lightning. They've, they've all gone. I haven't even got one. They've all gone. <laughs> Another thing that sold that really shocked me, although it does sound quite obvious, was my canvas paintings. Now, it's not that kind of event. It's more of a YouTube event as an art event. Um, so I sort of planned to sell prints as opposed to canvases because I thought they'd break or they'd get lost or people wouldn't be interested. But yeah, they sold out so fast on the first day that for the next two nights I ended up having to paint more till like three, four o'clock in the morning so that I had more to sell the next day. So that was quite, that was really shocking. Everything was shocking. It does feel quite odd to be talking about what sold in this sort of context, but uh, it was exciting, but it's also a massive learning curve as well. Another thing I found fascinating was people's reactions, um, because although I've got Etsy, it's one thing seeing things online, it's another thing seeing them in real life. Um, and another thing that was really cool was having people come up to the stall that don't know me and were looking at the art for the first time. So that was awesome. When people that don't know you as a person or an artist talk about your arts and praise you or you know give you a big pat on the back, it's a massive, massive boost because they're recognizing you as an artist as opposed to a person that's you know sort of established themselves online and creating stuff. Hope that makes sense. Overall, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I really, really loved it. And now it's over, it doesn't stop. I've got a lot of stuff left over and I plan to put things on Etsy in the next week or so. And I have more ideas as well. Some of the stuff I did as prints, people have said to me, hey, why don't you do it like this or this? And I'm gonna take on that um, advice. It sort of gave me that big kick up the bum that I've needed to sort of move forward. To summarize, I loved meeting everybody. I loved the reactions. I loved seeing my art go out into the world. It was just incredible. <laughs> and that's a really new experience for me. Um, I was sort of bouncing with excitement. <laughs> 
I have seen people wear my trich bands on their wrists before, but that was for spreading awareness and empowering trichers, whereas this was just my art out into the world. I hope I don't sound like I'm boasting too much. I was just so happy. I hope this vlog did come across okay. It did feel like an analysis. I feel like I'm doing GCSE art again. <laughs> um, I hated that. <laughs> Before I go, please do check out my Etsy store. The link is there. And the link is also in the video description along with all my other social media for arts. Um, it's all going now, yes. Um, and again, thank you. So yeah, I will see you again very soon.